all right my fellow black clover mobile engineers this time we're gonna do the long awaited optimal build shield for every single ssi in the game besides nozel i haven't tested him enough i don't have him unfortunately and the people i've asked also didn't really build him or didn't have him so he is an exception uh, but everyone else I've tested, I've done calculations, I've done uh, discussions with fellow players, members in Discord communities to collect as much data as possible and bring you guys the optimal builds for each and everyone which you will see. Now these build sheets will include the grimoire or skill pages and have alternatives to the most optimal ones. So every character will have at least one SSR Grimoire, the optimal uh, Grimoire, obviously, then one alternative SSR Grimoire or skill page, then one alternative SR skill page, and another SSR skill page. So I hope you will always have an option to, for every single SSR. Moving on, they will have gear sets, which gear sets are the most optimal. These are not set in stones. You can obviously go different direction of building, but these will be the ones where you can get probably get the most DPS out of every single character. Usually, or alternatively, if it's a support or tank, they will help you, you know, fulfill the role. The sheet will also include uh, the gear pieces, just so you have a visual representation of which pieces you want to use. As well as the base stats of these gear pieces, right? Because obviously you can choose between attack and magic attack, so you will see which one you want to go with. And subsets. Now, from left to right uh, is the priority, so the subsets on the very left is the one you want the most. And the further you go to the right, the less priority they are. But these four are usually the most priority. Like, it's not like the very right subset is bad. It's good. It's still good. There are a, a lot of other options which are worse, right? But you want to really prioritize the first three, maybe the first two. And we have talents. Now, I haven't done a video on talents yet. I will do one soon. And explain how it works but basically you choose one skill right let's say you want to go with either attack increase or magic attack increase there are six different effects for each talent three three six or seven i'm not sure right now and you can choose two of them but there are some limitations you can't just choose two any of the two you can only choose the two next to each other so there are limited combinations of talents you can use for each three and obviously I've done my research and then I made sure you choose the best combinations of talent you can get, right? But yeah, let's get to it. First off, we have Blue Yami. Um, I mean, dude, he has the highest crit damage in the game, 70% crit damage. Now, I can give you a comparison, like for example, Brookie Asta, the Black uh, Clover Academy Asta, right? The seasonal one. His base crit is one of the lowest in the game. And he has only 20%. So Blue Yami actually has 50% more base crit damage than the Clover Academy Asta. Let's compare him to the Red Yami. Red Yami has a base crit damage of 57.5%, I believe. So he almost has 20% more crit damage than Red Yami. That's why you want to abuse uh, his high crit damage with getting high crit rate. Because you, you also want to boot crit damage, obviously, but you want to prioritize crit rate since he already has very high base crit damage. So for that, first off, going with his skill page. His unique skill page broke, like the one of the most broken skill pages in the game for him. Because not only do you get... Uh, because he just becomes a huge self-sufficient battery, right? He will literally use his special skill every 2-3 turns. Like, if you are lucky, right? So what does it do? It gives you it's the passive of the skill page gives you a 20 to 30 percent chance of getting one increased special point when you are attacking, and it upgrades your skill too, and gives you an extra debuff this spell, and if you remove a debuff, you get 50 percent increased damage. So uh, before the upgrade, it's one you get one special point. After the upgrade, you get two special points. So he actually regenerates two special points just with his uh, skill 2. And he will be regenerating another special point with his remote passive, right? So actually, this is actually really, really insane. Now if you do not have any of these SSR ones, as you can see, I've put some SR alternatives. Just to make sure he at least has uh, the skill page slot filled, right? So first we have Lux skill page, which gives you an increased damage on your skill 1, so on your basic skill. I believe the multipliers are 7% and 15% at max dupe. 
So that's really good. Then we have Sea Serpent's Prime, right? Now this one gives you a 7% crit rate increase. If as I've said, you want to abuse this high crit damage, so you want to go crit rate. This one gives you crit rate. 7% at 1 dupe, 15% at max dupe. Then another alternative might be better than Lux, right? Now this one gives you a 7% increased damage for yourself for every attack. Now you might say why do you want to use uh, you know Lux one if this one gives it for every single attack. If you have Lux one max dupe you get more percentage than this one. But if they are at 1 dupe you, you definitely want to go the mysterious ancient book, right? This SL skill page. This gear sets, you want to go the 2 to 2 set option. Now, as I've said in my gear guide, I already speculated that the 2 to 2 option will probably be broken for DPS, like actually insane. And the speculation has been true so far. I've done calculations on every single DPS, and the 2 to 2 set is just always superior because you get so much base stats, right? Base attack, base magic attack, that it just overshadows any set effects. So. You want to go the attack set, obviously the crit rate set and the crit damage set. Uh, these are the pieces, which ones you want to build. These are all attack pieces, so you you want to build these. Just watch my gear guide video if you are not sure how to you know place them, because you will have space for another random attack piece. So you will actually have seven pieces in your gear slots, but I've only included these since the seven pieces. You know you can just run a random one. It's gonna be a square one, like uh, one of these squares, right? But you can run any. Base stats, obviously you want to go attack with him. The sub stats, attack, crit bait, crit damage, and crit resistance. Now the talents, I will just quickly blend in the translations. As you can see, the talents you want to go is this attack power increase. Then you have the damage increase. Then here you have at the start of turn, if you have less than two special points, you get one special point. So bro, let's say you use your ult, right? You use up all your special points, you get one special point. Then this talent will activate, you get another special point. Then you, you use your skill 2, if you have the Grimoire as well, the skill page, you get another 2 special points. That's already 4 special points. And then, obviously, you also get 1 special point from the skill page. So you can basically get 5 special points in one turn if everything goes right uh, with the chances. This one gives you increased blocking. It was the best option between increased healing and increased blocking, so yeah. This one gives you 20% increased death, and this one gives you 4% defense and 2% critical resistance buff, which stacks up to five times every wave. All right, moving on. Charlotte. Charlotte, Charlotte, Charlotte. Now, she is a very interesting unit. I've tested her, and she might be one of the best auto-farming supports in the game. If not, not even auto farming right she's definitely one of the best supports or debuffers in the game why is it like that and why are you building dps on a debuffer right because you will see every other debuffer will have other gear sets or combination of gear sets she's the only one i'm building as a dps why is that as i've said her role her primary focus will be helping you auto farm the thing about her is she is not sufficient by herself you need the dps carry now a DPS carry can be our Red Asta, he's the best one, like he and Charlotte will just auto farm destroy every single event, right? every single stage, if you have them built correctly. Uh, you can also go Red Yami, obviously, maybe Jack, and maybe Licht and uh, Raya which are coming soon, but uh, Red Asta has been the best option with her. Uh, she applies an AOE debuff with her skill 2 and marks the enemies with her skill 2, right? After you use your skill too, your DPS will obviously come in play and the marks actually give you an additional turn every time you kill the enemy. So imagine you're going into a stage, Charlotte uses her skill too. She does a lot of damage already, takes away maybe 30% HP, marks the enemies and reduces the defense of the enemies, right? It's an area so every single one is marked and debuffed. Now Asta goes next and you just use, you know, his basic skill or skill too, kills the opponent gets the mark reset, goes next, uh, his fucking basic skill does an insane damage, so another one dead, gets another turn, kills the other one, another one dead, gets another turn, one shots them again, and the wave's cleared, next wave, Charlotte's going again, you don't have a skill too, but you will use the ult, reduce death, and then, you know, that's how you want to obviously play, right? 
That's why when I went DPS on here, just so her skill 2 can, you know, lower the enemy's HP so that Red Asta or any other DPS carry can one-shot them and abuse the Mark debuff, right? So her skill page, her unique skill page, as I said, best option on her. The unique skill page gives you a 35% chance of applying 10 or 20 reduced crit resistance on an enemy. This might be useful on PvP, not really useful in PvP, I will, I'll be honest so far. And obviously the skill upgrade is that you will have higher defense and decrease. Obviously the alternative SR page is the purple flame or whatever it's called. Let me actually see the name. Breath of Darkness, that's the name of the skill page. So you will use this. This one obviously increases the damage on your skill too. Or you will use the Ancient Book, which increases your damage for everything. Year sets, gold attack, gold crit rate, gold crit damage, these pieces. You want to align them as the guide I've done already, so make sure to watch that video. Base stats attack, she is an attacker, like she doesn't use really a lot of magic attack. And the substats, right? Uh, attack, crit rate, crit damage, crit resistance. Talents are similar to Blue Yami, so attack increase, damage increase. Special point, blocking, defense increase, and defense and crit, uh, resistance increase. Alright, moving on. Fuego Leon. Very, very good unit. He's gonna be so strong with the Fana who's coming soon. So if you have her, him, Fana, and Leopold, GG. Like, actually, like, GG. And then maybe Nuzel as well? Bro, just call it a day, right? Just, we're just gonna do. I don't know, bro. I don't even wanna know what, you, what you're gonna do. So. What do you want to build on Fagalon? What I've prioritized on him is the fact that this burn scales off his attack and magic attack. You want to build as much attack and magic attack to increase your burn damage. Uh, his Grimoire is unique Grimoire. It applies 12% or 24% increased damage to yourself when your HP is 50% or higher. Like, insane. Compared to, you know, just raw attack or M attack, obviously increased damage is better than raw attack or M attack, which the Breath of Darkness gives. Now, I wasn't sure if the increased damage actually applies to burn as well. I assume it does. If it doesn't, Breath of Darkness might be better, right? Since you w want attack and magic attack increase, and that's what Breath of Darkness does. Alternatively, Ancient Book, again, one of the best SR ones, just increased damage. Or you can go the Magna skill page, which is an SR and gives you increased effect hit rate and increased penetration. So this one's also good on uh, debuffers like the uh, Fuego Leon or Nozelle. His gear set would make sense, you want to go the attack gear set, right? To get attack and magic attack, 7% increase, then the normal attack set, 2220 20 attack. And you want to go the, you know, accuracy or effect hit rate set, just to get the effect hit rate up by 10 and get a better chance at hitting your burns. These are the gear set pieces you want to run. Just made a mistake here. This this I made this wasn't supposed to be this one. It's the square one. I fixed that. And his base says you want to go magic attack with him. He has the second highest magic attack in the game after Le uh, Leopold. His subsets you want to go magic attack, attack, accuracy and crit rate. Now his talent. This one gives you a magic attack increase. This one gives you a 2.5% critical chance buff, which stacks up to 5. Obviously, again, the special point increase, the block increase, the defense increase, and the defense increase and critical increase, which stacks. I'm moving on. Leopold, Leopold. He actually, bro, his damage potential is so insane. It's actually so stupid. He probably does the highest damage in the game as a DPS. And everyone just overlooks him because his base stats are already so OP. And with gear, obviously, you, you're just gonna be so cracked, right? Now, Leopold obviously wants to run his unique Grimoire, which gives you an all attack increase based on your HP. The highest you can get is 50%, max dupe is it's 30%. So you get an increased attack and magic attack. Uh, alternatively, you can run Fuego Leon's skill page. Since it gives you an increased damage, right? Ancient book, increased damage, or you want to run Yunus as a skill page. Yunus as a skill page, I believe, gives you 7 to 20% increased damage when you use your special skill. So, obviously, you want to use that. Uh, his gear sets gold attack, gold crit, normal crit. Why do you want to go normal crit and gold crit? 
because as I've said his base damage is already so high and his crit rate multiplayer and his crit damage multiplier are actually decent so his crit damage multiplier is at 50% which is at the higher end since he has already has high attack and magic attack base stats you want to abuse the crit damage right so that's why I went 52 crit rate sets to make sure he crits more often consistently Obviously base sets you want to go magic attack, since he has the highest magic attack in the game. Then his subsets, magic attack, crit rate, crit damage and accuracy. Accuracy because he also inflicts burns, right? So he's gonna do well in burn teams with Fergoleon and the burns just additional damage. And since he has so high magic attack in attack stats, his burns are gonna hurt a lot. Talent, magic increase, this is the critical chance increase, then special point regeneration, HP regeneration for this one, why that? He has lifestyle incorporated in his skills, so you want to abuse that and go increased healing instead of uh, increased block and defense increase and the defense increase and critical chance increase talent. Really, really OP. He, I, I can't. I really want Leopold. He's he just just by his stats and calculations, he is so disgusting. It's actually so good. I'm jealous of everyone who has Leopold. Moving on, we have Lotus. I've done uh, two alternative options for the gear sets, for PvP and PvE because I, I think it's important to know that there are different roles here for, like the role is basically the same but you, there are different optimal builds or priorities you want to run on Lotus, right? Now his uh, unique one more is actually not that good, it's decent, kind of underwhelming so it gives you a 25% chance to apply a speed reduction by 2% or 10% on max tube, which is, you know, meh. His uh, skill upgrade gives you concentrated attack. Now, that's actually very decent. Basically what it does is it increases the damage on units which are debuffed, right, by Lotus. So if you debuff someone, it's kind of like, you know, defense decrease or incapacitate, which increases damage, right? So this one just, if you debuff someone, they're gonna do more damage. Uh, like everyone's gonna do more damage on them. It's on the skill too, by the way. Now obviously uh, Breath of uh, Dark Fire, again, you want to get his attack up. Then you have the Magna one to get a higher chance at hitting your debuffs. Uh, you can also run Walter's uh, skill page. Now this one gives you increased stamina to actually, you know, continue going faster when you use a special skill. When you use a special skill, you can get a 5 or at max 20% increased stamina. His gear sets. For PvP, you want to run the accuracy and the speed gear set, obviously. Now the accuracy will help you, you know, hit more debuffs and the speed one will give you higher speed, right? For PvE, you want to run the accuracy and the attack one. Now as you can see, it's the 4-2 variant. Since he's not a DPS, you don't need the 2-2 variant. You can just run the 4 set of the accuracy one and then the 2 set of speed. Why not speed over accuracy? First of all, the 4 set of the speed one, it's alright. It's not that good. It, I mean, it's good to get speed, right? But I feel like accuracy might be the move since you really want to prioritize getting the debuffs off, right? I mean, it doesn't matter if you go first, but you can't hit your debuffs, right? So that's why I prioritize accuracy over speed. You can switch them out, right? That's an option. So if you want to prioritize speed, you feel like your Lotus is too slow, you can switch them out and run the four set for speed. But this is, you know, how to optimize this role as a debuffer. The space sets. Now you want to prioritize magic attack on the magic attack gear sets. And obviously you have the HP base stat sets and the def defense base stats uh, pieces, I mean. With stop stats, you want to go magic attack, accuracy, crit resistance and crit rate. Now as talents, go these ones, which gives you magic attack and critical rate increase. This one gives you an increased accuracy and increased penetration by 5% each. And this one gives you a 20% chance to cool down your skill too by one turn. Really, really good. And these are obviously the defense increase and defense and crit resistance increase. So that's how you want to run him. Mars. Whew. He's gonna be so tanky if you haven't built right. He's gonna actually be so insane. Now, the skill page. It gives you a 4% fortify upon yourself. which stacks up to 4 times if you take damage. At max tip it's 8% per stack. So at max stacks you, have, you will have, you know, 16% fortify or at max tip you will have uh, 32% for no, no, my bad. Uh, yeah, 32% fortify. Insane. Imagine just reducing damage by 32% and then having high defenses, bro. GG. 
Alternatively, you can run Raiders skill page. Obviously, this one gives you a barrier equal to 50% of your HP for two turns, which is really, really good on a tank. Or you can run this Esther Peach, which has like a moon ne moonlight necklace, it's called. Uh, it gives you a 40% increased defense, insane. And it gives you a 6 to 10% increased healing. Now, the healing obviously won't really use them, but the increased defense, just, just very worth. Now this one is an SR skill page, I don't know the name of the dude, just some filler Golden Dawn character, but it gives you a 30% increased defense and a 10% increased endurance to yourself, so it's also good on tanks. If you do not have any of these, you can run Night Blooming Flower SR skill page, it gives you a 25% chance of fortify for one turn, but obviously chance is just bad, right? you don't want chances on getting healers, you want just consistent defense increases. So that's why this is like the worst best alternative if you do not have these four. His gear sets obviously we're running defense gear set, all four to get a 70% defense increase and then you're running the HP set just to get you know some HP as well. Base sets, defense, HP, attack. And for substats you want to get defense with the second one's damage resistance. HP and critical resistance. Now for his talent, you go increased damage. For, for his talent, you go increased attack, increased damage, special point, uh, regeneration, increased block, defense, and defense, uh, which stacks. Alright. Mimosa. Sheesh. Now, Mimosa was kind of difficult, but yeah, she. You want to run her signature Grimoire, obviously, her unique Grimoire. Or skill page. It gives you a 20 to 25% chance removing one debuff when you use the skill 2. And it upgrades your skill to, to actually extend buffs for two turns, right? Instead of one turn, two turns. Now. This one, again, Moonlight, gives you uh, increased defense and increased healing. This one might even be better if it wasn't for the unique uh, buff. And we have Vanessa's skill page, which, which gives you a damage resistance when you use your skill 2 for one turn. If you're running the HP gear set, Four set to get more HP and HP recovery every turn, and the defense uh, set. These are the base sets, substats you want to prioritize: HP, defense, damage resistance, and crit resistance. Raiders, Raiders, such a good unit, right? If it wasn't for Mars, he would be the best tank. You want to his unique a skill page gives you a barrier as I've said, and it upgrades your skill too, to actually get uh, level five damage resistance. Insane. Now you can run Mars, since you know you can run Mars with Mars and Raiders, Raiders you can run Raiders with Mars, makes sense. It's literally one to one the same as Mars, right? Sally, Sally, Sally. Now Sally, I've decided to go with speed and HP gear set, because you want her to go first over your, you know, DPS units, and the HP one would just make her, you know, more sustainable. You can maybe run full speed, you can maybe run full uh, HP or HP defense to make a tankier. I would run the speed one honestly. I believe this is the best options you can option you can run, right? Uh, now Sally's uh, unique skill, obviously the best option you can have, which gives you 10% increased all attack on a skill two. So no, she will do increased magic attack, increase crit rate, extend buffs, give life steal, and if you increase all attack when you use skill two. I mean, bro. I mean, dude, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> you pair her up with Jack, Jack uses his skill too, gives him like four different buffs. Then you use Sally, give him like four more buffs, and Jack's ult scales off his buffs. Like every buff gives him a 10% increased crit damage. Now he will have like eight buffs on himself. He's just gonna do 80% increased crit damage on this old like holy i can't wait to show you guys uh, as soon as i've done building my jack and sally i have them both i have jack's skill page as well i don't have sally's skill page unfortunately but i will definitely try to get it from the skill page selector alternatively you can run this uh essa skill page which gives you increased hp just to make it a little bit tankier you can run vader's unique skill page which is an sr to make her go faster increase stamina or Vanessa's damage resistance, right? Just to maybe help your team out with some uh, tanky uh, DPS units. Speed set, these pieces, base sets you want to go magic, substats you want to prioritize HP, crit resistance, defense and damage resistance. I believe the only difference in the talents is uh, this 
defense one, instead of going 20% defense increase, you're going 5% HP increase, right? Rill. Now, Rill is a very, very funny unit, right? Very funny. His unique skill page is obviously the best option you can run. It gives you a 60% chance on applying 10% defense reduction to a random enemy for two turns when you use a special skill, and it upgrades your skill too. Uh, increased damage by 20% if you dispel debuff. So, um, for each debuff removed. So, yeah, yeah. So you you're just gonna you know use real to debuff everyone, give them like three debuffs. Maybe have Lotus give them like two more debuffs, and then. You know, a skill 2 is gonna remove the debuffs and give you increased damage for each debuff by 20% for 2 turns. What? Like, insane. You have uh, Magnus uh, as a skill page to have a higher chance of debuffing in Volta's one just to make him faster if you want to. Now for Geese sets, again, you can run two different uh, variants for PvP and PvE. Uh, for PvP, you want to run the Accuracy and the Speed one. William, William, William. The fastest unit in the game. By far. Now his as a skill page, unique one, gives you HP recovery on your skill 2 and it upgrades your skill 2. Bro, his skill 2 is so disgusting with his skill page, right? So it's gonna give you increased attack, increased speed, increased stamina by 30% if the ally is low and gives you debuff immunity and obviously it will give you HP recovery as well. He's gonna be so fucking disgusting. Actually disgusting. Alternatively, you can run the Moonlight Necklace just to make him tankier. Or you can run Finral's SS skill page. I believe this one has a chance to give you increased stamina when you use skill 2. Or you can run you know, Vanessa's just to give an ally damage resistance. For PvP and PvE, again, different sets. For PvP, I would recommend going full speed for him because you want to definitely want him to go first, right? You want to abuse his speed, so you go full speed. And for PvE, you want to build him a little bit more tankier. So you go four set of the HP one and speed, base stats, subsets, and talent. Right, very similar to supporters. Red Yummy. Obviously, you want to run crit rate attack, crit damage because he bosses crit rate. When he crit, when he crits, he gets some special, you know, debuffs. And when he debuffs, he gets a stun. So you really want to use his crit rate, crit damage. He has high crit damage, high crit rate. One of the highest crit rates, base crit rates in the game, 22.5%. His crit damage is at the higher end with 57.5%. And his unique skill page, very disgusting. You just get crit rate and it stacks every time you, your ally attacks. So you will have like, bro, what? Like, a 20% increased crit rate at max dupe and around 10% crit rate if you have, don't have a max dupe. Grab a fire again. That's a good universal SSR piece for DPS. These are the pieces you want to run. These gear sets, right? Attack, a crit rate, crit damage. Have a 3 times 2 just to get more attack on your Yami. Base stats is obviously all of them you want them to be attack. Then your subsets attack, crit rate, crit damage, crit resistance. And talents is usual for a DPS, uh, these talents. Clover Academy Asta. One of the best single target DPS, actually the best single target DPS in the game, like there is no contest at all. Also with Charlotte, as I said, he is probably the best farmer in the game. Even better than Yami, obviously Yami by himself is better, but if you have Charlotte and you have this Asta, you will actually, like, you can literally auto farm all the high end stages, every dungeon, because they are so insane and ridiculous together. So for Rookie Asta or uh, Clover Academy Master, you obviously want his main grimoire, his uh, unique skill page. Uh, it gives you a 12% uh, crit damage increase or a 24% crit damage increase at max dupe, which is insane with him because his base crit damage is actually really really high. It's at 50%, it's above average or around average. So with his unique skill page, you will have like 62 up to 74 base crit damage, right? And the enhanced skill you get from this unique skill page is so insane. You get an 80% stamina increase when you use skill 2. So you can imagine it like that, right? You use your skill 3, your special skill. You reset your turn, then you use your skill 2. You get an 80% stamina increase. 80% literally just means you just go again right after right and then you use his space skill if you combine that with charlotte 
who marks the enemies and every time Asta kills an enemy his turn resets. You gotta see it like this, right? You use Charlotte's skill 2, AoE, mark them, defense decrease, then you use Asta's, I don't know, you can maybe just use his base skill if to one shot, but if you can't one shot, you can use his skill 2, go again, you use his base skill, kill him, go again, you use his base skill, kill him, go again, next turn, next wave, you have his ult still, you use your, your ult, bomb, reset, you have your skill 2 ready, bomb, reset, you use your space skill, bomb, and by the time, honestly, you've done like 10, 10 turns back to back, and every turn obviously you regenerate skill points, right? So by the time you have your ult again, so yeah, uh, actually it's so disgusting, right? I haven't tested them both yet, I don't have Charlotte, but just just the theory around those two is so insane, and, I, and I've seen Korean p players uh, use these two in auto farming dungeons, the high-end dungeons, so yeah definitely something to consider. As alternative SSR skill page you have, you know, Breath of Darkness or whatever it's called. Your usual standard, right? Then you have the SR Ancient Book and Gochus SR skill page which uh, increases the damage on your skill too. Gear sets, attack, crit, crit damage, right? Standard. You might as well go attack, crit, crit, crit rate, crit rate since the space crit damage is high. Especially if you have this uh, unique skill page, you can go attack crit crit. Yeah, or maybe crit damage crit crit. Well, I would probably go attack crit crit. And then yeah, you uh, have these 